The Egyptian armed forces reported 15 deaths among security troops and two civilians in multiple armed attacks in North Sinai since Thursday. It has also confirmed the death of more than 24 militants during the same period. It seemed like a usual wave of violence from ISIL affiliates in the region. However, it was the first time one group attempts to rob a bank. Hamas opened its arms to the Egyptian authorities that has forced ISIL to find new resources amid the siege it's been facing since the agreement was made. It depended on foreign financing. Now it definitely wants to multiply its financial resources to be different than the paths Hamas knew about that could be through Egypt's western borders or through few tunnels that Hamas might not be aware of. Last week, the Egyptian Intelligence Bureau has mediated what appears to be a final reconciliation deal between Palestinian factions Fatah and Hamas. The chief of the bureau appeared shaking hands with Hamas leaders, declaring a new page in relations after involving the Palestinian group in domestic terrorist cases. In return, Hamas seemed to have withdrawn its support from the Sinai's militant groups and blocked their smuggling tunnels. This new wave of violence began on Thursday, right after President Sisi has announced a new state of emergency all over Egypt for three months. The state of emergency has been applied for years in North Sinai without having a clear impact on militant activities. However, many analysts say that with this new deal with Hamas, Egypt may be finally able to put a permanent end to ISIL's threat in that area. I think the emergency state has its negative impact on the Egyptian economy and social scenes. Extending the emergency state will harm tourism, and I think the nature of cooperation between the mature Egyptian political and security approach towards Hamas and other parties who used to support this movement won't make Egypt capable of ending their violence without a new emergency state. In 2013, insurgency has outbroken in North Sinai after the army has ousted former President Mohamed Morsi. That security file has been a top priority for President el-Sisi, who may now be closer to ending the threat than before. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.